Christ be beside me, Christ be before me, Christ be behind me, King of my heart, Christ be within me, Christ be below me, Christ be above me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, by which you all. Now, good evening, everyone. And we especially welcome people who are looking in on our webcam this evening. And um, again, might I just might make the little suggestion that perhaps it's nice if you light a candle in your room during the celebration of the Mass. Now today is the fourth Sunday of Easter, what's traditionally called Good Shepherd Sunday, and there's beautiful images of intimacy, of the Lord and knowing each one of us, calling each one of us, and calling us to live out to the full our Christmas, our Christian vocation. Before now we begin to celebrate Mass, we'll just recall to mind all our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now we will listen to our scripture readings. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven and addressed the crowd with a loud voice. The whole house of Israel can be certain that God has made this Jesus, whom you cru crucified, both Lord and Christ. Hearing this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the apostles, What must we do, brothers? You must repent 
Peter answered, and every one of you must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise that was made is for you and your children and for all those who are far away, for all those whom the Lord our God will call to himself. He spoke to them for a long time using many arguments and he urged them, save yourselves from this perverse generation. They were convinced by his arguments and they accepted what he said and were baptized. That very day, about 3,000 were added to their number. The word of the Lord. Speak to God. The second reading is a reading from the first letter of St. Peter. The merit in the sight of God is in bearing punishment patiently when you are punished after doing your duty. This, in fact, is what you were called to do because Christ suffered for you and left an example for you to follow the way he took. He had not done anything wrong, and there had been no perjury in his mouth. He was insulted and did not retaliate with insults. When he was tortured, he made no threats, but he put his trust in the righteous judge. He was bearing our faults in his own body on the cross, so that we might die to our faults and to live for holiness. Through his wounds you have been healed. You had gone astray like sheep, but now you have come back to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Good shepherd, says the Lord, I know my own sheep, and my own know me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus. 
Jesus said, I tell you most solemnly, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold through the gate but get in some other way is a thief and a robber. The, ma the one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the flock. The gatekeeper lets him in. The sheep hear his voice. One by one he calls his own sheep and leads them out. When he has brought out his flock, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow because they know his voice. They never follow a stranger, but run away from him. They do not recognize the voice of strangers. Jesus told them this parable, but they failed to understand what he meant by telling it to them. So Jesus spoke to them again. I tell you most solemnly, I am the gate of the sheepfold. All others who have come are thieves and brigands, but the sheep take no notice of them. I am the gate. Anyone who enters through me will be safe. He will go safely in and out and be sure of finding pasture. The thief comes only to kill and destroy. I have come so that you may have life and that you may have it to the full. The Gospel of the Lord. Now we will reflect on the readings and as I said at the beginning of Mass, this is Good Shepherd Sunday. And uh, Good Shepherd Sunday was a Sunday we used to associate with vocations and a call to the priesthood. And I think in recent years we have seen Good Shepherd Sunday as a call to everyone to realize their own vocation, which they were called to in baptism. And that, that means that by the reason of their baptism, every Christian is called to use their gifts and their and talents and ability to build up God's kingdom and the Christian community. In the gospel today, Jesus says, I have come so that you may have life and you may have it to the full. And um, we could reflect on that statement that the purpose of a Christian for another Christian is to live out those words of Jesus, I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. And um, the images of sheep and shepherds are most powerful. And although most of us have never even seen a shepherd, I grew up in Renla and we didn't have shepherds in Renla, but um, the we know instinctively what this is about. It's about uh, care and trust and goodwill and safety. Um, sheep were very precious, not because uh, of their meat, but because of their wool, because wool was of great value, so that um, sheep were cared for. And the, um, the great images of intimacy there in the gospel, the, the, the shepherd is very caring that his sheep do not come to any danger. And of course, this year, we, um, Good Shepherd Sunday, we read this gospel against the um, background of the COVID virus. And I think, um, what the COVID virus, has, it's made us think about many things, and we say that when it's over, we'll have what's called a new normal. But um, I think what the virus has done has made us realize that none of us are islands and that we have bonds and responsibilities to one another, deep bonds and deep responsibility to look after one another, to uh, care for one another, and um, to, to, to make sure everyone is all right. So these bonds of, um, uh, as I say, ties of responsibility that bounds us 
to one another. And in this way, we have come to value our family and our friends, those friends whom we haven't been able to meet in recent weeks, people who are good to us, who have, um, who uphold us in our lives, and we have talked to them on the phone. We realize how much goodness there is in our lives. And I say, personally, I have been um, moved um, by the, the care of people for me these past weeks. It, uh, it seems to be the responsibility of the family, to, of the parish, I should say, to make sure I am well fed and I just find that very moving and the way people are reaching out to one another and you know please God when the virus is over we will not we will not forget this and keep our ties and bonds of community that are so value valuable <coughs> it also brings us home to us those ties and bonds at the best of times what they are Jesus says there in the, um, in the gospel today, anyone who, the one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the flock. And um, anyone else who comes in any other way is a thief and a robber. Now, <coughs> just occurred to me, somebody something said the other day, um, a, a thief, uh, what's the difference between a thief and a robber? And I suppose the difference between a thief and a robber is a robber is of the stick em up um, variety, whereas a thief is more subtle. I mean, thieves can, for example, maybe embe embezzle money over years and even begin because of the very p period of time it takes to think this is all right there's nothing wrong with this and you know maybe a time to reflect a time to reflect when our bonds with one another have been brought very close to us in these um jesus says i am the gateway and if a christian is to be another christ um have i ever been less then a gateway to everyone, anyone else. And over a period of time to maybe a bit of attitude towards them at, that if Jesus says, I have come so that you may have life and have it to the full, we might ask ourselves, is there anyone we know at this time who because of us have been left with a less than fullness of life, the Jesus that Jesus wants for them. I have come so that you may have life and have it to the full. And have we always brought fullness to the people we love? That maybe we get used to people and disrespect them in subtle ways or put them down in subtle ways. So a time when I say bonds of family and friends are so apparent to us that we might think about that. And, you know, the thief always takes away, the shepherd always gives more. That this year we reflect on what Jesus is asking of us. Um, the, and it said it's very immediate this year, our responsibility towards others, our responsibility for the health of others and those of our friends and family. Um, we, we, we might just finish by uh, St. Pope Francis said, uh, nearly when he was made Pope, he said particularly about priests, but I'm sure he means it for everyone else, that I uh, say if these beautiful shepherd images are close, to, um, are close to us at this time, what Pope Francis said, I think early in his pontificate was that the shepherd should always live very close to the smell of the sheep. Now I'll read the notices, and after that we'll stand for the creed. Now, we have Mass on our 
webcam every day and um, the, the, the webcam is accessed through ratfarnhamparish.ie, the parish website, and it um, can be seen when you go onto the green box, webcam, watch and listen. Now, sometimes the webcam, I, it's probably due to um, an overload on the systems, but if it stops working, instead of trying the parish website, try www.churchservices.tv slash forward Rat Farnham. So the alternative, if, if there's a, an overload on the parish system, is go to Church Services TV. So the webcam masses are Monday to Friday, 10 a.m., Saturday, 11 a.m. and 6.45, and Sunday at 10.45 a.m. only. Now, we'd like to thank those who've already given online um, and to those who are dropping the Easter Jews envelopes or um, the parish um, uh, envelopes into the presbyteries. Um, please ensure that any envelopes dropped in are marked with your name and address and what the donation is for. So if you'd like to put your name and address on any envelope you put in, also mark in what the donation is for. Now, we have a donate button on the website, and by using this donate button, you can donate online for the family offering. Um, you'll see it listed, family offering, Easter Jews, the first and the second collection. So you can make your donation towards those collections. Um, instructions again, can, are there on the donate button on the parish website um, and you can make your donation. And we thank people because um, there's a certain uh, financial crisis to parishes too which uh, really have little or no income at this time. Now, the COVID-19 restrictions, uh, the Taoiseach um, outlined a programme last night for of how we are to come out of all these restrictions. And uh, there can, of course, we say, oh, it's easing up and we can just disregard them. But I think we have got where we are often by making sacrifices, by, as I say, not seeing our friends. And it's vitally important that we continue that, that we don't become casual about these restrictions and that we listen to the chief medical officer and to the government instru instructions, which can be found again on the government website. So on Bank Holiday Monday, the Mass will be at 11 o'clock on the webcam. And thank you very much for your patience and um, goodwill towards the parish at this time. Before now, um, we will we, now stand for the creed, or if you're at home, and um, as I say, we join in saying the creed. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son as adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. 
I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now we will make our prayers, and we are facing into an unknown world and a world of anxiety at this time, so we raise our minds and hearts to God, who in Jesus today says, He has come that we have life and that we have it to the full. The response to each prayer is, Lord, graciously hear us. In today's gospel, Jesus reminds us that he is the good shepherd who cares for us and that he is the gate through which we can gain entry to eternal life. We pray for the strength and perseverance to live by his commandments and earn the rewards which he has so generously promised us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all those in our church, men and women, ordained and lay, who have been called to the role of shepherd, that they may follow closely the example of Christ and bear witness to his goodness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. On this Good Shepherd Sunday, we pray that many people will hear the Lord's call to serve in the many ministries of our church. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our leaders in health care and governance, that at this time of great danger for all of us, they may make the right decisions for the well-being of the people. Lord, hear us. We pray for all those people throughout the world who are suffering from the coronavirus, and particularly for those in intensive care. We pray also for the sick and elderly who at this time are housebound, isolated, and unable to see or be with their loved ones. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And now we'll pray for our dead. We'll pray for Loretta O'Brien, Gus Malarkey, (laughs) Norman Leckie, David Griffin, David Harris, Kay Sweeney, Sister Deirdre Mellet, John Jackie Sheridan, Sister Francis Jerome O'Sharkey, Brendan Crystal, and we'll pray for all our deceased relatives and friends. May they know the joy and fullness of life in your presence. Father, may your love and compassion be constantly with us in our lives and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, 
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find the light in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our ending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. And just to mention that um, we are offering Mass this morning, did this evening um, at our Vigil Mass for the repose of the soul of Aggie Silk, Aggie Silk, who is recently deceased. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death and his rising in all have risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your praise as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Jesus. 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the ablation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, Saint Joseph, her blessed spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant, Francis our Pope, Dermot our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We'll pray now as our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And we wish peace to all those whom we carry in our hearts at this time. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this time receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. <clears throat> the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives.
Thank you.